wine cellar we started last winter and we are just about ready to hand over to the homeowners. We start with this massive arch that we stoned last winter. Um, so come on in. Yep, we started with the arch. And then we came in and you can see we've mudded all the walls. That was our second step so that we have our background. And then it was just building up the design elements from there because they wanted a Tuscan theme, of course. So it's a wine cellar, so we brought in some barrels for shelving. We like to be very creative, so we brought in some very old boxes with some really great patina on them. We built in another arch to match the arch coming in, and we have a very wonderful artist named Rita Long who painted an outdoor Tuscan theme for them, so it's just absolutely gorgeous. And then it was a matter of what to do with the ceiling because all these rooms were, were long, narrow, concrete walls, square, rectangles. So to warm it up, because we, you, can't, you can always have too much stone and too much concrete, we brought in, someone came up, I think Sandy came up with the idea of old ladders, which we've cut in half and we've hung from the ceiling. We've uh, covered with ivy and grapes and some twinkle lights per Katie. And then we have like highlights. This wall is not done yet. We need a feature here. With our work, we have a specific vision in mind and sometimes it takes a while to find that piece that completes that vision. So this area is right now in need of a piece. And if you'll come this way, you'll get the spectacular vision of our water feature. But yeah, this is our nice feature, more barrels. I don't know if you can tell that's a lighted uh, bottle. Al loves his lights. These are wall light sconces that Al made that are just fabulous. That's just a bottle that he's cut the bottom off. Some copper fittings and some lights and then we just stained the wooden background. But this is the sitting room where you can come and relax, get a book maybe, a glass of wine. Hopefully there will be a little wrought iron table right there um, to just sit back and relax in a little piece of Tuscany. And then if you'll come in here, this is the wine room, which originally started out as just gonna be cement on the walls and wine racks. But you cannot have just cement and wine racks with Al. He's gotta have something. So if you'll come, but Katie designed these nice leaf details. And the first thing you see when you go into the door is our nice cubby, our arched cubby. And then you can see the spectacular lights they change colors. We love our stonework, so we built up this corner, made a little shelf, and then have another bottle, a huge bottle of that I think Al and Sandy brought back from Fort Worth with some different lighting, blue and green. Uh, you can put wine glasses here, open your wine, taste it here, or you can open you know, a bottle, taste it here. And then if you wanna come in, we have just a little cabinet in the corner just for a simple storage of wine glasses. But this is pretty much our wine cellar that we're just, I know as a company, we're absolutely thrilled with how well it's come together, but it just shows you what teamwork can do. We haven't completely secured our ivy over here yet. Just comes with a nice stream of water. Oops. <laughs> and then in the corner, you can see we have 